Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jamie. I'm going to be showing you today a quick video on how to use the Watman Omni Swab kit for your DNA sample. Uh, so pretty simply, this kit is easy to use. It's all stored and shipped at room temperature. So um, you'll probably receive that in the mail or through your doctor. And what you're gonna do is find the top end will just be a little um, a little opening there and you're going to open up the Omni swab grab it in the middle and you can see that this top part is the part that's going to be used to collect your cheek swab specimen and you'll also have a tube here of the lysis solution that the top of this swab is going to go into, typically labeled buckle. And it's a little tricky, this tube is small, so I would recommend that you maybe hold it in one hand while you proceed with taking the sample, um, just because it can tip over uh, quite easily. So you'll take this swab, I um, recommend that you don't eat or drink 30 minutes prior to taking this sample, no smoking. Um, and so you're just gonna gently rub the inside of both cheeks a couple of times to get some of the DNA from the inside of your mouth. Turn it around. Make sure that the swab, the soft part is the part on your cheek. Okay. So this tart is going to go into the top of the tube. The nice thing about this swab is that there's a plunger on this end. So what you'll want to do is put the soft part of the buckle into the tube and you're going to just press down on this tube and you'll see the soft part is in this tube now. This can be thrown away. Make sure you tightly close the top of your tube and you'll probably have um, labels there uh, which you'll put your name and date of birth on and put it over top of this tube so that we know it's your sample. So you're also always welcome to call Impact Genetics directly if you have any questions but I hope that this video helped.